today we are going to learn about fractions. Fractions are so awesome and so much fun. Many of you think so too. A couple of weeks ago we set up a poll on our channel and many of you voted for fractions as our next math video. That's really awesome. Thanks everyone for voting and don't worry we'll make the other two videos too later on but this is all about fractions. All right, well, let's start here. What is a fraction? When we say the word fraction, what do we mean? What is a fraction? Well, a fraction is something that shows parts of a whole. Let's say there's this lady named Cindy. Cindy has a pizza, which is great. She loves pizza, so yummy pizza. But then her friend Chomsky arrives. You remember Chomsky? Chomsky likes pizza too, and he's a little bit hungry. So maybe Cindy isn't going to eat the whole pizza now. Maybe they're going to split it. What do you think? So they split the pizza in half. Each of them get one half of the pizza. Isn't that neat? <laughs> then everyone has pizza. Each of them have one half of the pizza. They split it right down the middle. Now remember, a fraction is something that shows parts of a whole. So here is what the fraction looks like. A one, a line, and a two. That is the fraction one half. Each of them, Cindy and Chomsky, get one half of the pizza. So this is one half. It's a very important fraction because we use it all the time. Now you might be wondering, what do the numbers mean and how does it show one half? Well, the bottom number shows the total number of parts. The top number shows how many parts we are talking about. Oh, pretty simple. Let's go back to our example. There are a total of two parts to the pizza. So there's a two on the bottom, and Cindy just gets one part. That's the part we're talking about. So Cindy gets just one half of the pizza. She doesn't get the whole thing. She gets just one part. She gets one half. The bottom number of a fraction is called the denominator. The denominator is the total number of parts. The top number is called the numerator. The numerator tells us how many parts we are talking about. In this case, Cindy is having one part of the pizza. The other part, of course, is going to Chomsky. Let's try this. Let's say there's another pizza and this pizza has four parts. The number four is the denominator because there are four pieces of pizza, four parts. Let's say Kelly shows up and wants to have one part of the pizza, one piece of the pizza. The numerator, or the top number of the fraction, is the number one because Kelly is having one part, or one piece, of the pizza. Kelly is having one-fourth of the pizza. Pretty simple, pretty fun. Fractions are awesome. Now we're going to need your help. Help us figure out what fraction is it? Huh. <laughs> what fraction is it? Wow, we're going to have a great time. Let's say we have a group of five sports balls. One is a basketball. The other four are soccer balls. Let's figure out what fraction of the balls are basketballs. What fraction of the balls are basketballs? So we know a fraction has a line in the middle and the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. 
The denominator shows us the total number of parts or units. How many sports balls are there? Yeah, five. Five is the denominator. Good job. Now remember, we're asking for the fraction of sports balls that are basketballs. So how many basketballs are there? Yeah, just one. The number one is the numerator. So one-fifth of the sports balls are basketballs. One-fifth. Great job. Let's try this final example. Let's say there are five pets. Five pets! Two of them are dogs and three of them are cats. What fraction of the pets are cats? Huh, that's a good question. What fraction of the pets are cats? Remember, here's what a fraction looks like. It's got a line in the middle with the top number being the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. So, the total number of pets is five. What number is the denominator? What number goes on the bottom? Yeah, five. Five is the denominator. It tells us the total number of pets. Remember, we're asking for the fraction of the pets that are cats. How many cats are there? Yeah, three. So what's the numerator? Yeah, three. Three is the numerator. Three-fifths of the pets are cats. Wow, that was so cool. But none of those cats are as special to me as you, Mr. Whiskers. Not even a fraction of my heart belongs to you. My whole heart. I love you, Mr. Whiskers. I do. I do. A fraction is something that shows parts of a whole. The top number of a fraction is the numerator, how many parts we are talking about. And the bottom number of a fraction is the denominator, the total number of parts. Thanks for watching this homeschool pop video on fractions. I am not sharing this sandwich. I don't care if Chomsky shows up what he says to me. I'm not going to share it. I love fractions, but I'm not giving a fraction of this sandwich away. I don't want to cut it in half. I don't want it to be a half. I don't want to have just a quarter of this sandwich. I'm eating the whole thing. Chomsky? Hey, keep your di keep your distance. Thanks for hanging out with us. You are awesome. In the middle of the screen, you can see there's a button you can click to subscribe to our channel. Or you can click one of these two boxes to watch a different video. But don't stop learning now. Go ahead. Click.